Hey, Solo Gamer back with you. And when we left off, it was the start of the next Mythos phase. So let's, let's see what we get. Okay, we have this thing moving here, and we have a Monster Surge. And we spawn another clue token. So let's spawn another clue token. Put one at the Himalayas. And we have another Monster Surge, which is here. So luckily, we did not get... um. What, what could I say? We did not get a... We got a Maniac there. We did not got a Resolve Action thing. So that buys us a little bit more time. So probably with that, with what I will do, is uh, I will move Diana Stanley. She has a... Now, we can't... Investigators cannot perform rest actions. So this is going to stay on. And then the next Resolve Action, we get rid of that. So we can't rest. So what we will do is, since she can't rest, I will move her to let's see here I will move her to Rome and then what I will do is she will use her boat well she will get another uh, boat token and then she will use that go to here to the pyramids No, 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 no. We'll get rid of that boat token. Because she's going to trade with Leo. Leo is going to give her the 45 automatic. And the dynamite. And then Leo's turn. Um, now he keep the dynamite. No, we'll lose. No, you'll give her the dynamite. Okay. All right. Okay. God, what are we going to do? Okay, we will... Okay, then what he'll also do is he'll, he'll give her the lightning gun as well. Okay. Alright. So, uh... There, that's her done trading. Now he will spin. He'll move here and try to get that clue token. Okay, and that's what he'll do. Then we have Jim. He's going to stay there. He can't rest. Um, he can try to do an influence though. But he's going to do that, and he's going to also try to get a, a train ticket. So he gets two successes on his influence, which is good. And he will take the holy water. And then, ooh, carbine rifle. And then he, what he will do is he will, um, he will get a prepare for travel, and he will get a train ticket. Okay, so Diana's turn. She's at the pyramid. She's going to do this expedition. <clears throat> And this is the pyramids. Bandits tie your hands and blife on you. They lower you into the catacombs deep under the pyramids and leave you dire to die. You try to free yourself from your bonds. She has to do a strength test. She does. You see now that you are in the Temple of the Sphinx. Retreat doomed by one. All right, it's all the way up to 15. You use your knowledge of Egyptiality to find an exit. Okay. All right, she passed that. If you fail, you wake up with no memory and gain an amnesia condition, but she did not fail. So, okay. And now we move the artifact to the Himalayas. 
Okay, and then we have Leo, and he's going for this clue. And he is in the wilderness. The moon is full, and a satyr-like creature pulls itself from an undulating mass of sludge. A goat spawn ambushes you. If you defeat it, gain the clue and one additional clue. If you fail, you wake up next morning with no memory of how you survive. Okay, so we have we do have a goat spawn here, and we will use this. And he has to do a horror check first. And his will is three. So, But he has his St. Jerome, so he gets five dice here. And he passed that with flying colors. Okay, and now he's going to do a combat. Now he has a strength of three. Plus he has an ally, which is four. Plus he has this thing, which is nine dice. So that's what he's going to do. Nine dice is five, four. Oh, minus two is seven. So take two. And he got two, three hits, so he killed it. Okay, so he killed it, so we'll put it back there. He regains one sanity because every time he uses the Sword of St. Jerome, he does that. And then plus he gets one clue and one additional clue. So we gain two clue tokens. And we will save that because I got a plan to get rid of... This guy's got five toughness, so we'll do that next time. Okay. And then we have Jim. And Jim is going to try to close that gate to Istanbul. This is the future. You stand in Times Square, New York, but not as you know it. The streets are empty and the buildings have crumbled to dust. It appears that you will fail to save the world and you try desperately not to fall in despair. I has to pass a wheel check. He does not pass it. As you kneel sobbing on the cracked pavement, a shadow of a man falls over you. You cause this, the man says calmly. His gold headdress looks somewhat familiar. Test your lore. Okay, pass that time. All right. Ooh, that was good, too. You lost six sanity. I didn't have six sanity. Oh, man, that was lucky. Okay, so that is the end of that turn. So let's move the thing to Leo, and we will draw a new Mythos card. All right, we have another gate movement down here, and we don't have any gates like that on the board. So there will be no monster surge. We spawn a clue. That's nine. That's way up here again. From beyond, resolve the action effect on each Mythos card and play twice unless investigators as a group spin clues equal to half players, which would be two clues. Well, stink. Okay, we will spend, Diana will spend the two clues to do that. We don't want that to come into play. Okay, so Diana spends two clues, and that's that. And we still can't rest. Okay. So Leo, he's in a wilderness. He will move one here. And he will move to the star spawn by using a boat ticket. Jim was not able to close that gate like an idiot. Um, shoot, do I keep him there? I will keep him there. Okay, Diana <coughs> moves here. And since she can't perform a rest action, she will perform a, uh, she will grab a boat ticket. Because we're going to send her up to the spinner of webs thing. Okay, so it's Jim's turn. Now, Jim is going to fight this star spawn. This thing has a toughness of five, but now it has a toughness of three. And he is uh, going to use the flute of the outer gods. Spend two health and two sanity to defeat all monsters on your space. Okay, he does that. So he spends two health and two sanity to defeat the monster on that space. And he beats it. Okay, so then that thing's five toughness, one with the warlock. And he spends two clues. And that's six toughness worth of monsters on here. So we can now solve that mystery at the mythos phase. And now he can have an encounter here at the city. A night of drinking and good cheer help raise your spirits. Recover two sanity. Okay, well, that was... There you go. 
Okay. While you are celebrating, you hardly notice that you're being robbed. Okay, you better better notice that. Ah, oh, crap. All right, get rid of one item. He's going to get rid of the flute of the outer gods. God damn it. Well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to spend a clue token. I'm going to try to roll. Ah, crap. Oh, well. All right, well. Damn, that stunk. Okay, so we have Jim. He's going to try to close his gate. I think this is like the third time. Lost Carcosa. You grow frustrated walking through the empty streets, able to hear people talking and laughing nearby, but unable to catch up to them. You try to focus and distinguish specific words from the mingling conversations. Yeah, observation. No, he's not a good observation. But he passed. The words you hear sound familiar to something you've read. You try to recall their significance. All right, Jim, come on, man. All right, pass that one. If you pass, use the words to close this gate, which we will do. So we close this gate. This gate is gone. Okay, now we have Diana, and she will try to get that clue. All right, she's in the city. In your nightmare, the chanting of the colder black goat, thro goat threatens your sanity. Shit, shit. She's got to do a wheel check. If she failed. All right. If you fail, you find yourself in an open field next to next. Move to the nearest wilderness space and gain an amnesia condition. Okay. So this is the closest wilderness space right here. She will gain an amnesia condition, which is not good. Okay. So let's start to meet those phase. All right, so we get rid of these monsters here, and we have got that mystery. So that mystery is solved. So the next mystery is, when this card enters play, move each clue on the game board to the nearest wilderness space. Okay, let's change. All right, well, this one's out of wilderness. Is that a C? Eh, that goes to wilderness. Um, this one go to wilderness. This one goes to wilderness. That should be it. After an investigator resolves a research encounter, he may spend one clue he gained from that encounter and place that clue on this card. At the end of the mythos phase, if there are clues on this card equal to the investigator, solve this mystery. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can do three of those. All right. Now let's do a new mythos card. All right, here we go. We have to move this. So we have to move that. We move the doom token by one. Let's see, we have to resolve some effects here. So here we're gonna go. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. All right, so let's see here. We'll start with this guy here. We don't have any other cultists on the board, so we won't have to do that. Spawn one monster on a random space. So let's spawn a monster on a random space. And it is a Shagoth. Ugh. Okay, and we will spawn a Shagoth on number 19. It's way up here. Okay, then we have the witch. She's the only other one that has something. Okay, nobody is cursed. Then we can discard this card, which we do. And now we will get discard one Elder's token, which we do. Okay, and now we have a Amnesia card. Test your will she does not pass so she has to flip that card suddenly the terrible memories of the profane ritual return to you how merciful your mind has begin been to forget your horrible deeds now that you remember the truth you know this will soon have to hold up in a bargain gain a dark pack condition okay so she's going to gain a dark pack condition okay leo has his paranoia so he has to test his will he doesn't make it you cannot tolerate the company of other people. The seething masses of humanity are blight on the face of the planet. If you are in a city space, the presence of other people erodes your sanity. You lose two sanity. He is on a city space. Then flip this card. So he gets to, he has to keep it. So he loses two sanity. He has a debt condition here. 
A sorcerer holds you down and carves a symbol into your forehead. Time to pay what you owe, he says. You attempt to dispel the darkness that fills your thoughts. Well, he's not great on lore. <clears throat> but he passed. Thank God. All right. Then he can discard that card. So we got rid of that one. Okay. And so now let's spawn a gate. And we have one at Shanghai. And let us spawn a monster. And it is a cultist. Okay. And then we have each investigator rolls one die. On one or two, he moves to space eight and becomes delayed. All right, we'll do Diana. Shit, she moves to space eight and she is now delayed. All right, we have Leo. He moves to space eight and becomes delayed. Come on. We have Jim. And he moves to space eight and becomes delayed. So everybody's freaking delayed. Okay. So nobody goes. Stand everybody up. And we drew a new Mythos card. Alright, we have another rumor on the board here. This is great. So let's spawn a clue at number three. Down here. Space 13. Great. Way up here. Gates cannot be closed. As an encounter, an investigator in Space 13 may fly, fly a plane over the Arctic ice to scout for the source of these unusually intense northern lights. Make an observation check. If he passes, he catches sight of an unoccupied Mego outpost and attempts to return off their bizarre devices. He may spend clue tokens equal to half so-and-so to solve this rumor. So until we solve that rumor, we cannot close gates. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, so it's our turn. So it's actually, that would have been Jim, so now it's Diana's turn. Okay, so let's go with Diana. She's going to move one, two. Well, actually, she's going to move here, and she's going to rest. Let's see. Well, is she, is she going to rest? No, she's not going to rest. She's going to do another prepare for travel, and then she's going to spend that boat token to move there. All right, Leo. Okay, let's say Leo, he's here. He can rest, which is what he's going to do. And he is going to move He's going to move here to space 10. And now Jim. All right. Jim will move here. He will prepare for travel and get a boat ticket. And then he will move again with his boat ticket. Okay. So we'll end it there and we'll come back and we will keep playing. It'll be the start of our hero's turn other than after movement. So this is Solo Gamer saying see you then.